Okay, here we go, class. Um, quiz should be on Google Classroom. So if you haven't been able to get in there um, to get that quiz, send me an email and I will help you to find it, okay? Um, hope you guys are all doing well. This social distancing thing, this quarantine thing, it's a little bit crazy. Um, but uh, hopefully we get this thing taken care of and uh, we can see you back in the classroom soon. Um, let me, uh, what our lesson is on today, credit rating. In Google Classroom, if you go to, uh, there should be a quiz, okay, in there. There's three questions on that quiz. And this presentation I'm about to do that I'm going to try to keep quick, keep it small, um, should be able to help you answer all of those questions. But questions two and three, if you don't get questions two and three right, man, come on. Question two, I basically say to you, hey, look, here is the five options. And then the sixth option says, hey, those five are the correct. So click the boxes for the first five. Third question, there's three. Click the boxes for the first three. Don't click the one that says, hey, the first five are right. Hey, the first three are right. Click the five that are right. Click the three that are right. Okay, but quest, first question on the quiz asks this. It says, what are the three credit bureaus? So here are the three credit bureaus. We have Experian. We have Equifax. And we have TransUnion, okay? These are the three credit bureaus. Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, okay? Um, so, those are the three credit bureaus. Um, we're a little bit about credit scores, okay? Each one of these organizations, and I kind of like to use the analogy of hamburgers, all right? McDonald's has a Big Mac, and their Big Mac is a little bit different than say um, the Whopper at Burger King, right? So you got the Big Mac at uh, McDonald's, you got the Whopper at Burger King, um, you know, the Bacon class. I don't know what you got at Wendy's. What's Wendy's big, big hamburger called? I don't know, hamburger? But there are three different places that all have a hamburger, but they make their hamburger a little bit differently. So Experian has a credit score or a credit rating and their score and their way of calculating that score is a little bit different than Equifax's. Equifax gives you a credit score. and They have a different way of calculating their credit score than TransUnion. TransUnion will give you a credit score. So sometimes what will happen, if you go to the bank, that particular bank may get their credit score from Experian. And they'll, they'll pull Experian's credit report, okay? Um, some may do... Um, the, uh, you know, they may pull it from TransUnion, okay? If you go to get a mortgage, generally speaking, a mortgage, because it's a bigger loan, it's a higher value loan, they'll pull all three. They'll pull from Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, and then they'll take the middle score, okay? And so that middle credit score will be what they will call your credit score then. Um, so... Your credit score, um, there's, a, there's a handful of factors that go into it, okay? The first one we're going to talk about is, um, um, is payment history, okay? And this is, this, is, this is really easy. If you make your payments and you make your payments on time, it's going to benefit your credit score. Your payment history is going to be the major factor that contributes to your credit score. If you make your payments and make your payments on time, you'll, pro you'll have a good credit score, okay? Now, credit scores go, I mean, they range from zero to 850, okay? Um, most of my students have no credit score, and the reason why you have no credit score is because you've never borrowed money. Once you borrow money, that starts your credit history, okay? And so if you make payments and make payments on, on time, okay, the banks and the lending institutions, they report that you're making payments and you're making payments on time and they're reporting that to these credit bureaus, okay? And so all three credit bureaus would have a record that you borrowed that money, okay? And they would have record that you're making your payments and making your payments on time. Now, how often they report is another story, okay? 
but generally speaking, they'll have record that that has happened, okay? Um, so payment history is one of the first things that happens. Another one is credit usage, okay? And, and this is the second question on your quiz, okay? Credit usage is like, like um, if you have a credit card, okay, and you have that credit card maxed out, that's gonna hurt your credit score, okay? If you have a credit card and you've got a little bit of a balance on that credit card, that's probably actually going to help your credit score a little bit. Um, one of the things that you know may, will help you maybe understand credit and your credit rating a little bit better is in a real world classroom simulation program that we've been using, you have a credit score. And on your credit score, it's got like a few different factors. Well, one of them is are you your payment history? Are you making your payments and making your payments on time? But there's another one that's credit usage. And it's saying, okay, you guys have, I don't know if you've noticed this, but you have a credit card that's available to you to use on Real World Classroom. And if you haven't used it and your balance is at zero, it's not going to hurt your credit score, but it's not going to help it. But if you go and max that credit card out and spend the full $3,000, that's going to hurt your credit score on Real World Classroom. But if you go borrow like $1,000, about 30%, Okay, and, and that's where, you know, the credit bureau is like, if you have a credit card and it's maxed out, it's going to hurt your credit score. But if you borrow up to about 30% of the, uh, of the credit limit on that, it'll probably help your credit score. So in real world classroom, if you borrow $1,000 on that credit, then that credit card, it'll actually help your credit score a little bit. Okay, now in real life, Okay, I'm not going to recommend that people go out and open up a credit card, you know, and, and, and especially if it has a high interest, um, just so you can help your credit score. Okay, it doesn't make sense to pay, pay a high interest credit card and pay, you know, the interest on that um, just so you can help your credit score. Okay, um, but, but it, it will help your credit score. Okay, so payment history, okay, usage. Okay, and, and again, these are, these are the second question on that quiz. And then another thing that uh, is uh, the, uh, the, the credit history, and what, what's different from the payment history to the credit history is how long have you been borrowing money? Okay, so if, if, you, if you've done it one time, you're not going to have a great credit score, even if you made your payments on time every time because you've only done it one time. You don't have a long history of doing it, okay? Um, if you have a longer history of doing it, it's going to help your credit score. So if you've been doing it for 20 years and you've been making your payments and making your payments on time every month for 20 years, you're gonna have a great credit score because you have a much longer history, credit history of doing it, okay? Um, the last two are slipping my mind right now, okay? But, on, on, but I know the concept and the ideas behind them, so I'm gonna tell you the ideas and the concept. You will get the quiz question right, I'm confident of that, okay? But uh, one of them is the type of debt that you have, okay? And what, what is meant by that is like there's, there's credit cards and then there's installment loans, and they'll call it revolving loans and installment loans, okay? Um, a credit card is revolving, you can continue to borrow against the balance. An installment loan is when you go buy a car, they give you $6,000 and you make payments on it every month until it's paid off. You can't keep re-borrowing against it. So a car loan is an installment loan. A credit card is a revolving loan. And revolving debt is generally less um, desirable to credit card companies or to people who are lending you money than installment loans. So your installment loans are, are gonna help your credit a little bit more than your revolving debt. So they're looking at the type of debt that you have. And if you have a lot of credit card debt and you know not a lot of installment debt, it's probably gonna negatively impact your credit score, okay? If you have a decent balance of revolving debt and installment debt, that's gonna help your credit score. Now. I don't have all the answers of what exactly, you know, is going to go into your credit score because these guys, it's like, it's like Kentucky Fried Chicken and their recipe for their chicken. 
It's secret, right? It's a secret recipe. I don't know if the Big Mac's secret secret recipe or not, but these credit bureaus, um, they they don't publish. They don't tell you what how they calculate the credit score because they don't want people manipulating their credit scores. So this this is you know how they calculate your score. We know factors that contribute to it, but we don't know exactly what happens, okay, or exactly how it's formulated, okay. Um, so credit usage, um, the type of the the type of credit card that you, um, or sorry, type, the type of debt that you have is going to be a factor, um, and. Uh, Yeah, those are those are the I'm trying to think of a fifth one. Okay, um, but let me talk about why a credit score, how it can help you. Okay, first off, if you have a good credit score, when you when you go to get a loan, you're more more than likely going to get approved for that loan. Now, remember last time when we talked about mortgages, there's two things that they look at. They look at your debt to income ratio, so they're comparing your debt to your income. But they're also looking at your credit rating, okay? So if you have a good credit rating, that's going to help you to be able to get approved for that loan. If your debt to income ratio is not good, then, then you may still get denied for that loan. Um, but a good credit rating is going to help you, okay? If you have a good debt to income ratio and you have a horrible credit rating, you may or may not get approved for that loan. But um, Generally, what happens is if you have a good credit rating and you, your debt to income ratio is good, you get approved for the loan, you're going to get a better interest rate. Okay, so one of the advantages you get a better interest rate on your loans if you have a good credit score. Okay, um, good credit score is, is kind of you know depends on the lending institution. But generally speaking, anything above a 700 credit score, and the highest you can get is 850, anything above 700 is generally viewed as a good credit score. Okay? Um, the, uh, um, the other advantage, if, if you're getting a better interest rate on your, on your loans because you have a better, a good credit score, you're gonna pay less interest, right? We've talked about that as we've amortized loans. When, when we amortize loans and we look at the difference between a 10% APR and a 5% APR, you end up paying a lot less interest on that 5% APR um, because you, know, you, you pay more towards the balance and less towards the interest. So some of the advantages, hey, you're gonna have a better chance of getting approved for loans Okay, you're going to get a better APR interest rate on the loans, and you're going to pay less interest because of that. Okay, so there's a, a quick and, and, and simple lesson on credit rating, your credit scores. You'll hear it referred to as credit rating. You'll hear it referred to as credit score. There's another FICO, F-I-C-O, FICO score, also a synonym to those two, but credit rating. If you have any questions on the quiz, you struggle with that quiz, let me know. Hope you guys are doing well. Take care of yourselves. Be rich.